Hey guys, happy Thursday. A couple things that we're going to have to go over tonight because we just have to. First things first, as you guys know, my last video got pulled down. Um, it, it caused a big ruckus and I'm totally okay with that because it's going to get back up. But even if it doesn't, oh well, I'm not stressing over it. You, you want to see it, you can just ask me for it if you happen to miss it. And I can email you a copy of it. Now, with that said, I make zero apologies about who I am. I make zero apologies about the theories I came up with. And if you don't like me, just don't watch me. Everybody that watches me continually knows I can handle a good debate. If you have something to say, just ask me. If you want me to elaborate on something, just ask me. You want to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with me, just ask me. I'm totally cool with it. I will talk to anybody. I will explain what I need to explain to any one of you. And I'm okay with that. But my big thing is if you don't like me and you don't like what I have to say, don't watch me. Unsubscribe. Whatever. I'm totally okay with it. I don't want to be delivered to computers where people are just going to bash me because they don't like me. Then don't watch me. So moving on, I need help from you guys. And the reason I say that is I've been sitting on information for like literally a year because I sat there and thought to myself, I can't be that fucking smart and nobody else has picked this up. And I really mean that. And I haven't said anything to fucking anybody in a year about this. And I'm going to tell you guys tonight. And the reason I'm telling you tonight is because I need your help trying to find it. So I had a four hour conversation with my girl, Ali Apperson today. And yes, yeah, she's my friend. She also does videos. She's really cool. Um, we have gotten into some heated debates. We got into a heated debate today. And she doesn't always agree with me. She, a lot of times she doesn't agree with stuff I do. But she intelligently debates me and always gives me the opportunity to speak my piece. And at the end, although she didn't agree with me, I feel, and maybe I'm wrong, but I feel that she respected my opinion and it's plausible. She may not agree with it, but it's plausible. And that's all that I'm saying. I never once said in the video that this is the way it is. I never once said that. What I said was, I believe this is what happened. And I believe this is this. So again, I'm not going to spend too much time on it. If you want a copy, just let me know. If you don't, I'm cool with it too. Um, if it can go back up, it's going back up. But to all the groupies, MAM groupies, I will never change who I am. I will never change my theories. And if you don't like it, block me. It's that simple. Because believe me, I'm going to start blocking you. Now, with that said, moving on. What I need your help with, I was talking to Allie, and even she said to me, she has never even thought of that. And Allie knows this fucking case better than most. And she specifically said, wow, that is huge. And honestly, I thought to myself, no, there's no way this is like, I can't be this brilliant and nobody else caught it. So I sat on this for a year. Do you guys remember correctly? And I wanted to do this video because I wanted to get it out there. But you guys remember that. Brendan told them that Stephen put the key in the dresser. This we all know. But either Kratz said it or somebody said it. And this is where I need your help. If you guys can show me where this was said or how it was said or who it was said to. Because I specifically remember it being said. I just can't remember who said it. Somebody said that the reason why they knew to shake the dresser or look in the dresser was because... Um, Brendan told them where the key was and immediately I said, there's no fucking way. Brendan didn't tell that interview until March 1st. Uh, guess what? They found the key on November 8th. So that is fucking impossible, but I can't remember who said that Brendan told him where to find the key. Now me and Ali searched through page a page a page a page document. I looked through videos. I looked through some news reports. I was trying to find Kratz's full press conference because maybe it was there. I don't remember. But specifically, I remember saying that because I remember thinking to myself, that is fucking impossible. So if anybody remembers who said that Brendan told them where to look to find the key in the top drawer or in that dresser, which is why they looked in that dresser, would be awesome. So I'm totally calling out to you guys. 
Second thing, when I was looking through the press conference, when I was trying to find something, I thought maybe it was the first video that showed it, but in two video, or I'm sorry, in four or five videos, because everyone had like clips of this press conference, they kept showing Avery's room, which was fucking trashed. There was clothes on the bed. There was everything. It was trashed. And I sat there and I thought to myself, and this was just today, but I sat there and I thought to myself, whoa, hold on a second. Bullshit. Wendy Baldwin, the fucking lying bitch that she is, Wendy was telling everybody, including the news reports, how immaculate Avery's house was and how they cleaned everything with bleach. Go on YouTube. I can't even like copy all of them. I'm not going to link all of them. Just do a YouTube search for Ken Kratz um, press conference, March 2nd, 2006. When they do a survey of the room or pictures of the room, they do a camera shot. It is fucking trashed. Are you going to tell me that they were trying to portray what it looked like after they ransacked it? Fuck no. That's probably what it looked like when they first arrested Stephen. So instead of Wendy's big elaborate story about how, no, um, his house was so clean. because And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, again, I made a video about this last year that Wendy Baldwin, who was trying to hide she was Wendy Baldwin, went on a news report stating that, um, and she covered up her head so you didn't know it was Wendy Baldwin, but we put together the voice. And I think I, I named that video like, listen, you lying bitch, or shut up, you lying bitch, something like that. But it's there. I did it. And I pieced together all three of those voices knowing damn well that that was fucking Wendy on all of them. But these are news reporters. How the fuck did they not pick this up? Did not one person bother to look back and say, wait a second, all the videos from uh, his press conference show a completely messed room. How the fuck do all these educated people be so fucking stupid? I don't understand. From, I mean, I mean, I hate to say this, I'm even talking about the attorneys. How did nobody bring this up? So honestly, either I'm missing something or I am the fucking smartest bitch in the whole wide world. I tend to want to believe I might be missing something. So if you guys can tell me what I'm missing, I am all for hearing it. As you guys know, I really am all for hearing it. But I just can't imagine that lawyers, attorneys, even Laura and Drizzen and Buting and Strangler, how the fuck did they miss these things? These things are huge huge. So I just, I don't get it. Um, I actually, I'm sorry. I can't say Lauren Drizzy because they came after the fact, but Buting and Strang and I guess Brendan's original attorneys wouldn't have caught it, but maybe did Lauren, Steven and Drizzy even add that in the paperwork? I don't know. It just, nothing makes sense. And what makes even less sense is that nobody catches these things. And I don't know. It's, it's fucked up to me. So that's what I would say about that. So again, I'm pleading for you guys. If you can find the document, the news report, excuse me, even the person that said that it was um, Avery, um, duh, that it was um, the cop or somebody that said that they found, they knew to look in the dresser because that's where Brendan told him to find him. How nobody caught this, I, I just can't get on it enough. And to me, it's huge. It just shows a pattern of lying and that's all these people do. And if you really want to get a good laugh, cause I haven't watched it in like over a year, but if you really want to get a good laugh, go watch, uh, Kratz in this press conference again. Oh my God. By the way, if anyone has a full copy of it, please leave a link. Cause all I can find is like five minutes of it or four minutes of it. His face. I mean, if you thought you wanted to punch the fuck out of him last year, oh boy, you should see it this year. It's 10 times worse. It's just, he, he's just ugh, gross, but there's so many unanswered questions. I would love to ask him. So Kratz, I'm going to post this on your Twitter and hopefully you're going to watch it because I call you out. I want to have a discussion with you. I want to know answers and I am nobody. I don't have to be someone, but I really want to call you out. Moving on. Speaking of calling out, some of you guys may not know, you may know, but 
Zellner completely shut down her Twitter and she completely bowed out of public. Now, there's a lot of rumors going around from guilters that, oh, well, she did that because she's scared and she knew Avery's guilty. No, that's not why she did it. One of two reasons. Allie said that somebody said that there could be a gag order and everything else. That's possible. Absolutely possible. What I think, and again, I'm not a lawyer, but what I think happened is that she shut it all down because now we're going to get the fucking Zellner storm. Now this is all the shit that she hasn't been able to tell. Now we're going to find out who she thinks is the real killer. That's what I think. I think all the other bullshit to this point, besides the expert testimony, because she needed that to prove something, but everything else was bullshit. Now the real shit's going to begin, and this is where things are going to get good. That's my opinion. Moving on. The last thing I want to discuss, I almost totally forgot, and my mind just did a complete brain fart. Um, I honestly do not remember what the fuck I was just going to discuss. Okay, I think I kind of remember, I think. So, one of the things that Casey and I, yes, Casey and I actually talk on the phone, and we are friends, despite popular belief or a lot of bullshit, yes, we talk. And one of the things that both of us has said, and we both stick by it, if you guys want to know how we can say that we have watched, I mean, that we have already discovered pretty much everything that Zellner has discovered, just go watch our videos. A lot of people, especially newcomers, think that all this stuff is new. It's not new. Casey and I covered this already. There is not one thing besides physical evidence that we would have no way to uncover. So if you really want to know what we're about, either me or Casey, if you really want to know what we're about, just watch our previous videos. You will see that we called this shit a year ago. And it's mind-blowing to me how many people think some of this stuff is like brand new evidence. It's not. So if you like what I have to say, you like who I am, because again, I am never going to fucking change, um, make sure you subscribe. But more importantly, make sure you check out my videos from a year ago. It'd be really funny to see what you'll find. And that's really all I have for you guys tonight. It's getting late and I've been late for work like so much. So just want to say have a wonderful night. If you like what I had to say, make sure you subscribe. If you don't like what I had to say, then don't subscribe. But if you do like it, go ahead and subscribe. My Twitch channel is up and running. Um, I haven't streamed yet, so but it is up and running. If you just go to twitch.tv slash perplexedqt. Um, and that's it. I'm going to start streaming Robo Recall, like I said, and probably going to maybe even stream tonight. So check it out. Hope you guys have a great night. Again, don't forget to subscribe. Check out my other videos and you will see that I'm smart. And if you don't like me, don't watch me. So for those of you that love me, have a wonderful night. I love you guys too. And as always, feel free to argue with me in the comments. Feel free to leave me an email or how to get a hold of me if you want me to give a full explanation of my theory from last week. And if not, I'll see you guys in a few days. Peace out.